Hey, hey, everybody. How you doing? It's me. I'm back again with another sandwich. Because, you know, um, mostly because there was such a wonderful response from everybody on the egg salad sandwich. And I got to thinking, I do that every once in a while, that, um, well, what I take for granted when I make a sandwich is, you know, totally different than anybody else. So, Without further ado, I'm Noelle. Welcome back to my channel. I go by Farm Girl Scavenger. I do all kinds of stuff. I have one channel. One channel is all I can handle. Today we're going to make a tuna fish sandwich and we may make a melt at the end once we get the sandwich going because that's what Dren wants, my grandson Dren. So I will say that normally I use fresh canned salmon, fresh caught, home canned. Okay, I know everybody doesn't have that. Normally, I would also use my food processor. I know everybody doesn't have one. So, I'm going to make a sandwich using um, regular store-bought tuna. And I'm not going to use my food processor, so I'm going to show you guys. Because there's many people that just don't have access to that. Plus, you know, um, sometimes it can just be even easier and faster depending on what all you're going to put into your what all ingredients you're going to use so without further ado let's turn you around and let's get this party started all right so i am going to hopefully we'll see i'm not quite sure there we go you guys see that okay? See all of that? There. All right, so I opened one can already because I just want to show you. This, it's Kirkland, it's albacore. I am picky, I'm getting older, and if I'm gonna spend my money on tuna, I'm gonna get the kind of tuna I want. Albacore tuna is cheaper at Kirkland, which is Costco. I know you guys don't all have access to, to Costco, so get whatever tuna you like, wherever you can get it, it doesn't matter, all right? So let's open this other one up. Sure that was exciting for you all. It's gonna go right over here into the uh, Pyrex simple plain glass mixing bowl why because if it breaks they're easy to replace and you don't have to match pattern I mean, i'm all about not matching pattern okay and then i have my lovely tupperware strainer normally i would just come right over here to the sink and put that in the sink and strain it there's not a lot of juice but as you can see as you can see this is very chunky so once it once it drains which it doesn't take very long to drain I'm gonna dump that juice out in the sink in the meanwhile I'm going to use some of my pickles that I made I'm going I am out of homemade pickled jalapenos so I like this brand they're not super spicy but they have a good flavor mayonnaise uh, miracle whip whatever you enjoy right um, and onion. I happen to prefer red onions, so that's what we got. And bear bear out of the kitchen. Thank you, buddy. Dog's got to come out here and supervise. This one has some ick on it over here, so guess what? It's that simple. All right. No reason to make anything harder than you already have. So if you don't like onion, guess what? Skip the onion. I like onion. And so that's how it is. Am I going to use this whole onion on this? No, I'm not. What are you going to do with the rest of the onion? I'm so happy that you asked. I'm going to put it in this Tupperware onion keeper. Because why? Because I can. 
<laughs> All right, there you go. Put that in the fridge, you're good to go. So, oh, I cracked myself up. I'm glad somebody does. I like this cheap knife. Hi. What you doing, bud? If you buy chocolate milk in a jug, like normal hey, milk, Bryn. Yeah. you gotta shake it up. Yep, yeah. shake, shake, shake it up. Friends having some chocolate milk. I don't normally buy chocolate milk. We just make it ourselves, but hey, what the heck, you know? What do you like? Do you like homemade chocolate milk, Dren, or do you like uh, the store-bought already store mixed up? Well, I guess that takes care of that. All right, there you go. Woo, these are some fairly decently onions. strong onions. They're make, about to make my eyes water. That means don't they're... Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Watch out. Thank you very much, buddy. We're going to dump this out in here. And we're going to dump this out in here. I know you guys can't see me. Sorry, I'll be right there. Okay. I'm just going to take my fork. I'm a crocodile. I'm just going to take my fork and just flake this up. The other thing I like about the albacore tuna is um, fish is good for you. Now, not necessarily canned tuna because some of it has a high mercury level. So be careful. Be pay, be uh, mindful of what you're getting, right? Um, I have a hard time with a lot of fish. My son worked at the fish market and the smell, and so I am sensory sensoried out to the smell so you see that just however you like it you like it chunky it's gonna get mixed more anyway so now I'm going to put the onion in there simple 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 now I'm gonna get a pickle because I love dill pickles we all love dill pickles around here and I'm gonna put a probably gonna put a whole pickle in here I don't think there's any garlic left in the bottom of that. Or did Dren eat it all? He ate it all. Figures. These pickles are softer than I like to uh, eat, eat. So, they're perfect for this kind of stuff. You know, um, and I know a lot of you don't have home canned pickles, so whatever. And a lot of you probably don't like pickles. And I'm just a rambling. Um, I like to put these in the food processor because hmm, I like them to be smaller bits. But, you know, you can spend all day chop, 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 chopping. Get them how you want, right? That's enough. All right, pickles. You know, I'm not in a test kitchen, so I'm going to use my fingers because this is my kitchen. I'm going to do this however I want. And I want some of the juice because I want the juice flavor, and I love jalapenos, and these aren't super spicy. Dren doesn't mind them either, so. Yep. It likes spicy food. Same thing normally. Like I said, because it's faster and I don't know that it's so much lazy laziness, but you can get a better consistent size and shape if you use your little food processor. And you know what? There's so many different ways you can do this. You can buy these already chopped if you want to. I usually... Like I said, I usually have my own that I've canned, but I ran out. I haven't canned anything this year, and I need to. Okay, pickles. And I think that that's it for the slicing. Just 
So now what I'm going to do is, you see all that goodness in there? I'm just going to stir it just a little bit. Nothing exciting. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. All right. Here we go. Man, I don't like what I'm picky. I have problems. Put what you want. Do what you want to. I put pepper. However much you like. Garlic, because I put garlic in on and and everything. I love garlic. I love it. Did I tell you guys that I love garlic? And just a little bit of salt. You don't and I use the I use this the Redmond's sea salt. You can use whatever salt you want. Don't put a ton of salt in it because the pickles are salty and the um jalapenos have salt in them. What else could you put in here? Jeez, whatever you wanted to. I'm going to add some dill because guess what? I like dill. You could put chives in there. You could put, oh, you know what I, else I'll put in there? Do, 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 I need the dill. Where's the dill? That's not dill. I just used it. Should be like right here. This is kind of embarrassing. Dill wheat there does right there. All right. Dill. I'm going to put some of this in here. Turmeric. Turmeric is very good for you. Turmeric. Turmeric. Turmeric is uh, one of the... So this is just dried dill. You can use fresh dill. I wish you could smell it. I just dry my own. All right, let's swirl this around. Now, you can't even hardly see the turmeric in there. And you could put more, you could put less, you could put none, you can put a, whatever you like. Put Italian seasoning in here. Do you like Italian seasoning? Put Italian seasoning in here. Do you like, um, I, I don't know, whatever seasonings you like. This is what I like. My family all likes it. They will all eat it. And now I'm going to put mayonnaise, but I'm not going to go overboard because ugh, that's probably not quite. We're going to say this is half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. That's probably closer or two thirds. We'll go with two thirds. And if I think I want more, then I'll, then I'll put some more in when I'm done mixing the set. But I don't like, um, there's nothing grosser than, than tuna fish that has so much mayonnaise in it. In my opinion, let's get that in there, that you got more mayonnaise or Miracle Whip or salad dressing. You know what? You could put ranch salad dressing in here if you like ranch. You could put Italian salad dressing in here. It's whatever, I mean... You could put avocados in here. I love av avocados. All right, so that is, to me, to me, that is the perfect consistency. It's, it's just, it's, I don't know, that right there is perfect to me. So, perfect amount of salt. All right, put this in the sink. Let's get a plate. And let's get you guys. Hi, sorry about that light. Okay, well, maybe not hi. All right, so now, that light's still kind of irritating, isn't it? All right, so now, I'm going to, Dren wants to melt. Do you want to melt on, Dren? Yes. Do you want to melt on regular bread or the nan? Regular, not regular. You don't, you don't want it on the, on this bread? No, not on that bread. That bread's too 
This bread is too, this nan bread is too good for a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> and let's just get, let's just get this straight. Do you have to have it on bread? No, you can just, you can eat it with crackers. You could eat it with a fork. Just like that. Come wrap it in lettuce leaves, right? So what we have here is oro wheat, buttermilk, and he wants a melt. So I have the I suppose I should, could turn you guys around to watch this. Do you want to watch this? See what I'm doing here? All right. What am I doing here? How much of that can you see? Much better. Okay. So, I'm weird. We know that. We accept it. It goes on better. I do not use margarine. I won't even have margarine in my house. It's gross. It's one molecule away from being plastic. And I always put butter on the inside. Why? I don't know because I do and I like the taste of it and I always have. Even when I make just a regular sandwich that I'm not going to do a melt with, I will do the inside. Now, let me help you out here. Do the outside, put them together like this, right? Do the one piece of your outside and get that going. I have that turned on. See if you can, where we're at. I know where I need to be. Okay. So now. Okay, there's only a certain kind of, of cheese that he likes. I don't like cheese. I usually use my sister's cheese, Tillamook. There you go, look at that. There's no yucky stuff running off. So, Gonna go right over here, like so. And take the two more, three three slices total because of the size of the bread. This one, I'm going to do that with. Now you say, oh my goodness, what are you going to do? I'm going to pick this piece up. I'm going to, I did that wrong. <laughs> oh well. All right. Yep. Because I cannot stand myself if I do something wrong. This is an easy fix. Let's go like this. Put this back in here. Take this apart slightly. Back over here there. Let's see. I, I, um, now I'm going to take some more butter. Let's see. Turn this down. Um, this is a, uh, stone ceramic it's not got no te it doesn't have any teflon in it it's made by jh hinkle i love these pans i've had them for years and anyway so there we go and i will just do that we can already flip this over because i already had that one going right so now i'm just going if you have a panini press if you have a sandwich maker all that stuff, you can do it. A lot of people don't have them, and here's my take on those things. If you're buying something 
that you can only, that is a single use item that you can only use for one thing. You can buy this pan and you can use it for multiple different things. You could use it for a weapon if you needed to. Know what I mean? Anyway, um, you want to just leave this on here long enough so that this all melts and gets crispy, right? Don't walk away. Don't walk away. It won't be pretty. Flatten it out, let it get let it get crispy, let it sit, but, but don't let it sit so long that you're not paying attention to. Nobody wants nobody wants their bread. Nobody wants their bread burnt. Now, I know this is already melting. This is all doing good. I'm gonna shut the heat off. The residual heat from this is going to melt the rest of the cheese. And in just a few minutes, we'll take it out of there. So anyway, um, hopefully you enjoy your tuna sandwich. Now you've got two sandwiches. I'll have to think of another one. Put an idea in the, in the comments. What's one of your favorite sandwiches that you'd like to uh, um, dress it up? Maybe I make mine different. Maybe you make yours different. Tell me what you would put on your in your tuna. And do you even like tuna? I bet there's a lot of people that don't like tuna. My daughter hated it. She couldn't stand the smell of it, but she'll eat mine because she was only, only ever had it with just mayonnaise. So when you, sorry, we just flipped it one more time. We're going to let it sit for just a couple more minutes. So that's, you know, that's where that is. I, I, um, totally get that. Like I said, I have a hard time with a lot of fish because my son worked at the fish market and I got to smell what his clothes smelled like when he came home. And that's just me. It's kind of like, uh, everybody has something. So let me take this out of here. Let me turn you guys around. Well, will I turn you around? Let's just do this. I don't even know if that's going to work. Let me turn you around. Put this over here. Make sure we got enough room here. Sorry about the... Okay, is that going to work? All right, here we go. Boy, can you see that? Melted goodness. All right. Dren's going to come and have this in a minute as soon as it cools off just a little bit. And um, there you have it. All right. Hope you enjoy that. I hope you try it. I hope you, um, that gives you ideas on some other sandwiches that you can make. Maybe we'll make a cold sandwich next time. That's what the egg salad one was. Um, so, you know, tuna and egg salad, those are pretty inexpensive to make. So if you're having a hard time with your budget you're ha and you like that kind of stuff, that's amazing what you can do. All right, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you would add and what you wouldn't add. And I'll see you next time.